Hey, hey, how are you doing today? We are having wine on the Sherry Beer Show. So it, it is it. Can we do pinkies out now? Is that most it? definitely, Sergio? I think we are ready yeah. to dip to dip into the world of yes. grapes today. And actually, you know what? This is a world famous show, and in in it's honor right. of this show, the Queen died. Boom! Oh, yeah. Really, I hadn't heard. Yeah, I mean, you know. There's my Easter, there's my Easter egg. You see the album back there? It's Queen. News of the World. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now, I, think yeah, I, I should have spotted that. I'm real quick. And I mean, in all seriousness, you know, Queen Elizabeth is dead, and I know this is like this was actually in her last will and testament that we she get a mention on the Share Beer show, actually. Yeah, I think so. It was yeah. in there. I, I the last thing on her bucket list. It was on. <laughs> it was on the list. Yeah, but in all seriousness, Ooh. I mean, the lady reigned forever. I mean, oh yeah, seventy years. Yeah. Literally, all of our we know of no other queen, and it's the only monarchy that is of in some importance in the world, right? Yeah, there's other more yeah. monarchies, yeah. but it's the most famous, the most popular. It's the one we literally mm -hmm. all know. Yeah. Right. Whether you want, she has been shoved down our throat our whole lives, whether you want it or not. Right. And, you know, hey, at 70 plus years old, Charles is now king, isn't he? Like, good for him. It should have been fair not to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Charles, King Charles the third is 72 years, 73 years old now. 73. Yeah. Well, we know he's not reigning for 70 years. Yeah. 143. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, that's yeah, good. it's it's uh, uh, now the link that's in there, guys, is for the article that I'm going to reference here in a little bit. But I just wanted to give a little bit of time to the queen. She earned it. God, how wow. old was she? 96? 96 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now I saw something that said 80% of the people alive in the UK right now, that's the only monarch they've they've had in their lifetime. So 80% of the people alive have known nobody else other than you know, the queen. And and to tell you the truth, <clears throat> Charles, mom lived the 96. Didn't dad live the 99 or something like that? Like how, how old was dad? Yeah, he was. He was in his mid nineties, I think. Yeah, he was ninety five, ninety six. Yeah. He has he's he's still got a good ways to go. I mean, yeah. from you know, un, unless he's so, William. William's got a ways to wait. Yeah, unless he takes after his grandfather who died in his fifties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. But I mean, if it, according to his immediate parents, yeah, he, yeah. he should have a good twenty years. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I guess the question is, and, and, and trust me, I am way beyond my skis even talking this much about it. I guess one of the questions I heard is, will he reign the whole time or will he kind of, I guess there's a way they can kind of resign. And then um, William can be king. What you, what is it? You abdicate? I don't know. Yeah, you abdicate the yeah, you abdicate the throne, I guess. I don't know. Although although he said in his little speech he, he was give his life to service. You know, I will serve as long as I'm alive. Hey Tom. Yeah. What's up, guys? If he goes as long so who's William's wife? Uh, but, Kate. So Kate, she's the first true princess since Diana. Yes, the princess of Wales. Mm -hmm. Yep. So she's like the Diana for the 2020s. Right. Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's yeah. charming. I think they all love her. Yeah, uh, I think. They, and I think the big difference is, is that William and her probably actually do get along, whereas Charles <laughs> and Diana never did. Well, they're not thirty years apart. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. You, how how old was the difference between? He was like he was eight or he was ten years at least. Yeah, I mean, now, it was... I want to say she, when she was. Because she was 19 when she got married. That was what, 81. So, yeah, it was like 13, 13 or 14 years. Because, yeah, that was about 40 years ago. And Charles is 73 now. So that would have made him 32. Yeah. So, yeah. Just barely legal. 
<laughs> so, Tom, what, what do you have any? We're going to get out of this quickly here, but I just wanted to give a little time to the Queen. Dying. Any any thoughts on this at all? Um, not really. Other than, and and especially now, I don't pay attention now to the to this uh, current new generation of royalty. Uh, I was into it, into the whole uh, Queen Elizabeth thing when, when I was a lot younger. And that's because when I would get Canadian coins occasionally and change mm -hmm. it here, uh, oh. she would have Canadian coins. And uh, I got some older Canadian coins where it was a different portrait of her and she was a lot younger. So it got me interested. I was like, oh, how long has she been around? And uh, learned a little. And um, I remember like it was yesterday in 1977, it was it, when uh, it was her 25th anniversary mm -hmm. of being queen. And they made, I mean, that was a major, big deal. Yeah. Big deal. Uh, and uh, I just can't believe that was 45 years ago. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I remember it like it was. Yesterday. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it, and it seemed like, boy, it like in the 80s. I, I, you couldn't get away from it, uh, you know. Yeah. It, well, it was all the yeah. all the scandal around Charles and Diana, and, and then the divorce, and then her death, and then oh. all, the, all. I mean, the royal family just blew up at that point. I mean, they had to totally remake themselves. Yeah, and actually, right beyond that uh, lighted uh, Schlitz malt liquor sign, back on that wall, is a 1977 uh, 25th anniversary uh, London bus. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Special, special uh picture box which they did in 77 so huh. of course he collects canadian coins and treasures. <laughs> but wait a minute youtube bandwidth is the one that should be breaking that news to us he didn't break the news last week when she was still <laughs> alive that's when he usually does yeah. it yeah yeah he breaks he breaks wrong news fake yeah. news i mean <laughs> he he had his shot he missed his shot yeah, he could have been ahead of the curve. Yeah. So, Tom, any thoughts on this at all? Since uh, I don't know if if uh, kept up with it at all, or or have any sort of a lot of us here in the room. I'll just speak for all four of us. We necessarily, it doesn't. You know, we're, we're not holding our breath over this stuff, but well, it, it's one of those yeah. things that for us, at least, it was always shoved down our throats. Like you just. It's yeah. definitely a big, it's a big death on that part of the world, it seems like. Yeah. But I mean, it definitely, if, like, in this part of the world, it def people acknowledge it, it seems like. But it, I don't know, I never really, my mom, and my mom's really into it. But I, I don't know, I never really got in, deep into it. <laughs> a lot of it is, a lot, it's a lot of drama, it seems like. It's, it's, a lot of, it's not even a real, it's like a ceremonial position now. All those titles are just ceremonial. Yeah. There's no power. And yeah. It's like their version of reality stars, basically. Now. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> oh my what God. the hell is what, what happened? Oh, his, his comment here. I did not, out of respect for black and Irish people. Uh -oh. Reporter death, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, moving, moving on from this. Uh -huh. um, okay. So I have a big reveal that I that I got today. Oh. Any any guesses? Uh, I'm gonna say it it's it's called a growler and it has beer in it. No, oh. I got my first craft. Oh, beer. cool oh, sign! Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. That is neat. I've I've had no desire to collect these, and uh, they until now. <laughs> Right, they they happen. I happen to be at my local brewery. Uh, to, well, it's not super local, but it's local in Phoenix. Uh, and they got these back in stock, so they gave me one. Um, of course, I gave them money, and they gave me one. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. Yeah. I, you know, they gave me a bunch of swag. It was incredible. I mean, I gave them some money, but I mean, you know, what, what was it? You know, they gave me stuff, right? You bartered. You bartered. Yeah, I bartered. Right. I bartered. Yeah. I bartered, you know? 
so so you know, what do you think bum i think that's the new way that we kind of like make ourselves sound more important do you do you think uh the chairman would borrow some of these cues like you know what they just happen to give this stuff to me uh, yeah why not i mean they I did i tell people i won things in ebay auctions and it makes it sound like Somebody drew my name. <laughs> right, right. I leave out the part where I said I got to send them fifty bucks. I've won the lottery. <laughs> I won it. Point. I've won the lottery well over fifty times. <laughs> I have. I've won like two dollars. I've won five dollars. Yeah. Four dollars. Lottery. Yeah. You know, I've You're won multiple lottery winner. Yeah. Lottery jackpot winner. Like, what's the problem here? People yeah, talk about winning the lottery. I win it all the time. Yeah. It's like routine. <laughs> as far as that sign goes, Joe, you said you had no desire to collect them. Now you have one. The genie's out of the bottle, Joe. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah. Well, take my word for it. Yeah. No, I, I will be collecting these from now on. Um, you know, you can't collect something till you get one, right? Sure. Yeah. It's like you can't be a serial killer until you at least kill one person you have to kill that first yeah, one first. then 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 you can start the uh then, then you can continue right then you know in order to be a proper serial killer otherwise you're just a killer yeah if you want to be a proper serial killer you have to kill multiple people mm -hmm. so in order <laughs> Now, if I if I just collect one sign bomb am I uh, bum am I a collector uh no, uh, one sign is a one-time purchase. Two signs is a collection. Mm. Three signs is uh, a sickness. <laughs> now, this one is metal. Do in, I get it? In, in all seriousness, I will say that those are... Now, I, I don't have any yet, but... Uh, <laughs> this Now that this started, see what happens. Yeah. Now, see, this gives Bum the motivation to be like, whoa. Well, Joe D got a sign. I got to get a sign. No, no, that because I don't. I don't have a single bobblehead in, in the house, so that has that's not uh, rubbed off on me. Well, I do have one bobblehead, but yeah, there's uh, one kind of important one, it's, right? It, yeah. it stayed at one as yeah. far as uh, baseball bobbleheads. But I, in all seriousness, those signs would be a good thing for somebody to collect because. You can limit yourself on those because I I've seen those at a couple breweries and I've been to a lot of breweries and not every brewery sells them. So first time on the show, my little sister. Oh, cool. Um, since not all breweries sell those, you can keep keep it under control. Mm. That's not something you see for sale at every brewery. Yeah, you don't see those. Yeah, very right. rarely. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, because those are cool. I think I've seen two breweries that have had signs like that, metal signs for sale or tin. Craft tin. breweries, right? Craft. Yeah. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The big boys, of course, yeah, they, you find those, but mm -hmm. craft breweries is the key. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking I can, <clears throat> because I know I've seen them, we've got our kind of big beer kind of craft breweries here. In Phoenix, mm. you know, the, we've got two of them that are ginormous. They're 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 behemoths. I have no doubt I'll be able to find their signs. After that, I think it's going to get a little tough, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, because you have to have the brewery actually want to get the signs, you know, because they have to make a commitment to get a certain number of signs done before they can sell them, and you know, that's, mm. they've got to feel like they can actually make some, you know, at least break even on the deal and make it worthwhile. It, you know, um, and then I, I got some, sh I got a shirt and then they, they, they actually did throw in some stickers, you know, wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they actually did throw in some stickers and stuff, but, uh, uh, so we'll get to it, man. We don't want to let these. So for those that don't know, of course, it's called the share beer show. We normally do do beer, but some people throughout uh, the history of the show have done spirits they've famously gotten on here with spirits and and they've done so much of them we end up looking famously <laughs> yeah. in famously exactly <laughs> we've looked at the ceiling of their garage for a while um that, that's happened that's been a thing um and we have had i don't know mark you've got on here before with wine oh yeah, yeah. vodka uh, bourbon yeah 
Yeah. So change. we so in the description for years, I've just said get on with your favorite adult beverage. Um because it didn't really matter. Let's just the, the point of it is is to have a conversation, right? Because mm. You go to craft breweries these days, and they serve wine. A, a lot of breweries will have, I don't know, three or four wines. It's mm -hmm. not a bunch, but they'll have some. And it I was at Tombstone today. There was a lady having a glass of wine or two with everybody else that's having some of the best craft mm -hmm. beer in Phoenix, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't stare her down like she was a sick, you know what I mean? I just like, what? You know? A good way it's a good way to get people in the door though you know if you're with somebody right. that doesn't want beer and you want some wine they, they, yeah, yeah. there you go there you go and and they're they're they're, now they're serving cocktails so you've got more and more craft breweries serving cocktails so anyway they're canning wine now and so i thought well instead of this week we'll take a break and so the the tie-in is this you might <laughs> Is a can of beer it's not well you can't see this you one. can't even see <laughs> but oh, there you go. i have a can of beer well it looks like a can of beer but it's a can of wine you know so, no on, on the side of it it literally says that it's like two and a half my the one that i have says it's two and a half glasses of wine normal glasses of wine right so mine says too yeah okay yeah. So the link that i posted from martha stewart.com I am going to share my screen here and, and go over real quick before we get into our wines. Uh, I'll, I'll go over real quick. Uh, I guess I got to do the tabs, right? Yeah, here it is. So can you guys see that now? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So let me separate this so I can do this part. All right. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is a piece from MarthaStewart.com. All the credit to Victoria Spencer. I'm completely stealing this from her. But um, in the description, it says, you know, canned wine is better than ever. Well, in the, in, the, in the article here, and you've probably noticed, these perfectly proportioned sips are incredibly convenient, extremely portable, and never require the use of a wine opener. Boom! Another plus. Um, and with cans, the one friend who only ever drinks a Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon all right well the rest of the group uh is sips is there a special way i'm supposed to say rosé 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 do you do you have to do all these things with like some kind of french accent is that is that is that a must is that something we have to do <laughs> See, oui, oui. Yeah. Oui, oui. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it, right? Um, uh, so cans are better versatile drinking, and they're also more sustainable than wine in glass bottles because cans require less packaging and are lighter, which means they require less energy for transportation, and they're less likely to break in transit. You know, when Save you the planet, drink canned wine. That's what I'm saying. Right. You know? Um, so let me go to this bottom. Save the planet. <laughs> There's one more important, uh, one important thing to know about canned wine. Not all cans are the same size, which Tom just talked about. Many canned wines are sold in 250 milliliter cans, which is the same volume as a third of a bottle. And some come in 125 milliliter cans, which is about the same as one glass. Most of our picks are available in 375 milliliter cans, which are the equivalent of half a bottle. Holy crap. Some <laughs> canned wines are sold by the individual cans, others in a four pack. Some are also sold by the case, which is 12 cans for those that don't know. <laughs> but that's kind of important to let people know. You know, a case of canned wine is 12. So it's a 12 pack for. For those of mm. us that only drink the beer. <laughs> and especially malt liquor, because they'll never understand that. Mm -hmm. right? So the best canned wines on the market, uh, Cascadian Outfitters, uh, 
sparkling wine. Now, see, I didn't know what to get, right? I'm like, if it said sparkling, I kind of avoided it. I didn't know if that was real wine or not. I didn't have any idea. But that one, basically $4.99. House wine Chardonnay, which I ended up with two different house wines, but not that one, for $49. Underwood Rosé, $6.99. I don't know. How do you say that? Scar Scarpetta? Lamb I think so. That sounds Italian. Is that Italian? Uh, eleven ninety nine for four. What? A <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I only paid a penny for that Colombian. Right, a penny. <laughs> um, the marker wine pignon. Whoa. Dude, these are kind of fun to say a little bit, aren't they? Mm. You, you can get your your French accent on. You got to stick your pinky out, Joe. That's what makes the accent, right? Yeah. Yes. It, lo longevity. Yeah, sixty-six dollars for six. Holy wow. crap! Uh, oh, better be good. And then uh, what is that? Romana Organic yeah. Dry Sparkling Rosé, twenty dollars mm. for four, and Bridge Lane Red Blend, thirty-one ninety-nine for four. Wow, wow. I'm so out of my lane. And then it goes on and on, and it shows, you know, you know, I love lists, but mm -hmm. I thought this was a good, you know, a good little way to kind of leap into this. So yeah. with that said, Tom, why don't you lead us off and 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 you know All right, we 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 <laughs> all right. I am drinking we, we. <laughs> I'm drinking, um, what's it called? The Crafters Union. I saw Ro that. Rosé. I saw that today. Oh, huh. It's, uh, yeah, so let's how, try it out. How big is that can, though? It's a regular can. Um, is it 12 ounces or? Yeah, yeah. 375 milliliters. Okay, yeah. 375. 12 and a half percent, though, that's pretty strong. Yeah, I think that's actually, <laughs> yeah. isn't that two glasses right there? Uh, a two a and a half more, about, yeah, a typical glass of wine is supposed to be five ounces. So, five. yeah, okay. that's like two and a half glasses of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Bottoms up, pal. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm not really, in, I've never really had rosés before, to be honest with you. Okay. And Mark, it, it, okay, so if it's 12%, is that very equivalent? Is it exactly the same ABV as beer? So if oh yeah, no, twelve percent is twelve percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So I that's mean, like drinking a that's like drinking an imperial stout, right? Out of a can. Yeah. Joe, I drink too much of this. I'm gonna get lost in the sauce, Joe. Yeah. Hey. Let me get well, lost. <laughs> you know, hey, you know, it's hard work, pal. You know, yeah, it's hard work, but someone's got to do it. Yeah, yeah. Got to do it. It's not. This is grace and delicacy. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so without cracking open any more, did you buy mm -hmm. any more, or is it just the one? This was – they had it in singles, but I, they didn't have it in four packs, no. This was okay. no, this but was I mean, $5.99 for did one. Did you only buy the one can of wine, period? Did you buy No, I have, I have another one in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. All right. So I might you, not drink all this and then try the other one. I might – I don't know. I might dump it. I don't know. <laughs> Brain pour. I don't know if I'm gonna drink the whole thing and then try another one. Drink. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to get that drunk. I'm so like, what do you normally every once in a blue moon drink some wine? What's your wine habit? I usually like a nice port. I usually go for ports. I have no idea. What? what or like a um? Is a port? Uh, I, I have no idea. What a port is like a um. I, I believe. Port, they basically they port is when they they make it like a wine, but then they stop the wine fermentation at a certain point, and then they mix it with brief. Believe it's brandy. I think they mixed it with. Oh, really? Yeah, it's yeah, really good. good. Sweet, really good. A real, yeah. yeah, real, and it's about what twenty percent. Yeah, like, the good yeah, stuff. It's, like, it's, it's supposed to be like an after dinner drink. I mm. think. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a regular wine, but it's like a sweeter. Yeah. Type of thing, yeah. yeah. There's a festival that we have in uh, local, and it's like Madeira wine. I don't know if you heard of Madeira wine. Mm -hmm. They uh, they do like a big festival and stuff for that here. Mm -hmm. But wine, I usually I don't know. I don't. I like a nice Moscato di Asti. Have you ever had Moscato di Asti? 
Nice uh, sparkling I, Moscato. Mm, that's a jam. That's like Italian champagne, isn't it? I mean, it's it's kind of sort of yeah, but it's so yeah. good. It's like yeah. nice on a nice hot day. It's like five percent. Good stuff. I, I am so okay. Drink some more wine. They want to see you take off your shirt <laughs> and show your sweater. <laughs> Don't tempt yeah. me if I drink too much of this shit. Yeah, I remember yeah. you did it on the show one time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They want to see the damn sweater, Joe. They yeah. Pay for hey, that. hey, you know, that's has got to go to his OnlyFans page. My, Mark, mm -hmm. how, how, how do people, you know, get to see Tom's sweater and more interesting content oh. like this? <sighs> First, oh, you got you got to click that subscribe button and then smash the bell for notifications when you take the shirt off. That's right. Okay. But then, it's, but it's then also, time. you got to give us a thumbs up to uh, share, uh, to help the algorithm send more people to the Share Beer show. And, uh, and then, check out uh, merch and OnlyFans links coming up soon in the yeah. description. OnlyFans.com slash Tom Sweater. Yeah, yes. Tom Sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. See Tom's sweater. That's what it's called. <laughs> See Tom's sweater. <laughs> yeah, and you can buy the to Tom's action figure. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what you do with Tom's action figure is I don't so know. Up here. Whoa! What the oh. hell? <laughs> uh, <I> <laughs> looks like looks like coach is out on a date. <laughs> yeah. Did coach get into the wine already? Yeah, coach. Whatever you do, yeah, you drink. don't, don't, drink don't yeah. click their button. Please don't click that button. And, and whatever you do, don't pull on nothing, please. Yeah. Don't, don't pull on stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, don't, oh, yeah. No, don't, 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 don't do that. Yet. Coach, you have to get a little tail tonight. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Coach, you might get some tail. Are those Clydesdales? Are those Clydesdales right there? No, they're not. They're too small to be Clydesdales. Oh, but okay. I, I, I'm here because I'm hung like these guys, so I'm just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I see too many smiles. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's blushing, isn't he? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's blushing. He's blushing, boy. He's yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Bum said, I think he drank too much wine already. He's yeah. seeing all that tail, and man, coach is like, yeah. Oh, yeah. a lot of opportunity. A lot of opportunity. Yeah. Things, things were different out in Idaho, so that's all I gotta say. Yeah, yeah. you never know what happens in Idaho. What happens in Idaho stays in Idaho. Yeah. They all in Idaho, right? Yeah. Is, is, Idaho, is, Idaho. Is, is, is when he's amongst that much tail, does he get his pimp voice? Hey, baby. What's hey, up? baby. <laughs> is that the pimp voice? Right. Is it gonna yeah. go down a couple yeah. octaves? You ever notice, like, you know, for other stuff, you gotta go low. For pimps, yeah. they always go hi, baby. Come on. Baby. Hey, baby, how you doing today, baby? You know, baby, what's up? You know, you know, you won't be over here with Come sugar. On, not a father. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> I got someone else over here got a pimp voice. I wish one of you guys had children. <laughs> Kissing in the fucking head and stomping their testicles so you can feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. Okay, let's get into it. Mark, what 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 wine do you have, bro? Uh, I have a Woodbridge Pinot Grigio. <laughs> oh, that's it's a cool a, uh, it's, it's, it's a from cool can, Woodbridge by Robert Mondavi. Mondavi. <laughs> established in 1979. And this is cool. I, I bought a four pack and it's a can, but you can see yeah. it's a clear can. It's like a plastic. It's not, it's plastic is is the top and the bottom it. aluminum or top plastic? and bottom. Top is aluminum, it's plastic with an aluminum top. Okay. And That's this pretty is cool. now yeah, I wondered I, I wonder how that would work for beer. I, I wonder I if know, it'd probably be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a plastic. Yeah. I mean, it's just like a food grade, like a plastic bottle, but um, hmm. How would you feel? Okay, I'm sorry, but how well, would you feel about your latest, you know, uh, IPA hmm. in in that? I mean, what what? Um, well, how would you feel about it? It would be cool if it, like if it was in higher ABV beers, right? The ones that you would share with people, yeah. so you know when you're pouring it, how much you're pouring out. Maybe yeah. that's why they do that. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah. You don't want that for, for the light to affect. Uh, that's why they yeah. obviously don't use clear clear bottles that, anymore. That yeah. looks like, yeah, it, is that like an eight ounce can? This is 187 milliliters. 
So they say <laughs> one can is equal to one and a one and a quarter five ounce glasses of wine. So it's like six and a half ounces. Almost looks like a can of olives. He's right. Yeah. You know what? He's right. Looks like a buzz ball. The buzz yeah. balls are they, they are like that. Mm. And it's opened up like do you hear the pop there? I mean mm. I even got some smoke. I even Whoa! Got some smoke. Whoa. Oh, Neary, Neary's turning in his he's turning in his bed right now, man. Mm. Oh, I, man. I, I generally Pinot Grigio is kind of a drier white wine, so it's not real sweet. Mm. So it's kind of dry. Um a little bit of sweetness, but not not really sweet. So it's a nice crisp. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad. It almost seems like for that, they should have that deal where the whole damn lid comes off. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that I'm saying? Cool. And that would be kind of cool because then you'd almost have like a little cup. Yeah. And all this is 12%. This is 12% ABV. So. Oh, now now he's advanced to all. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Tom knows all about some goats. Yeah. Coach knows all about some goats. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna buy that one, one and I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna make tacos out of that one tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah buddy. How about how are you doing? Is it hello? Man. <laughs> oh, he winked at you. I yeah. saw wink. Oh, the front. <laughs> yeah. No, it, whatever you do, don't go after those udders I'm telling you. Leave the udders alone. No. I'm gonna oh, see yeah. him down there trying to get fresh milk. Like oh, food yeah. we're trying to eat. Yeah. <laughs> get away from me, that's it. So, so you definitely is there? I don't know what, uh, what. what uh, yes, yeah, it is gefilte fish. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does look like gefilte fish too. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, gefilte yeah. fish juice. Gefilte fish juice. It looks like that juice from the. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, th thanks, guys. That's really good now. That makes <laughs> it taste better, doesn't it? And does it? Is it starting to taste like the gefilte fish? Is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> the more you talk about okay. it, really... so. I've seen people do this, but what are you actually getting? Is there like, is it woody? Is it, uh, I know it's dry, but is it? Yeah. You know, and... mm. it, I get a little, uh, there's a little bit of oak in it. I mean, it, I think it is, it is aged in uh, oak barrels, I think. Uh, but it, it's pretty dry. I mean, I guess you get some fruit, like, um, mm. kind of like maybe some pear or something like that, but not sweet. Yeah, kind of a dry, kind of a dry fruit, like a yeah, like a, a pear or a, an apple in there. What would, you, what would you pair it with? Like a nice chicken. This would like go with salmon? chicken. You could do this with fish, but some mm. some with like um, anything ahead. Like um, you could do like a butter sauce, butter lemon sauce, uh, a light cream sauce. But red wines would go with like. Tomatoes, steak, that type of thing. White wines a lot of yeah. times will go with uh, with fish or chicken. Wow, you mm. can do this with brats. I mean, you could do brats and Pinot Grigio. I have no They'd idea. have to be proper brats, aged properly and proper. <laughs> Bum, do you want to show us your wine? Yeah, I don't I, know I... what I'm. <laughs> don't know exactly what I'm showing, but I'll show you. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, All right. Like I, I said on the pre-show, I only had six individual uh, sing singles to pick from. So I got uh, the house wine also. And this says uh, Brute, Brute Bubbles. So I'm, just, so I'm just going to assume that this has that Brute yeast or whatever that they put in the Brute IPAs and the champagne. No, that's going to be yeah. very, that's going to be very dry. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I. Oh, so didn't brood, really care for the brood. Brood, yeah, yeah, brood is dry. Yeah, yeah brood. very dry. So, well, well you, might, you might not like that, but I'm not a wine person to begin with, so I I had no expectations going into this. But I do have an actual wine glass. Oh, there you go, go pirates. Yeah, pirates wine glass. <laughs> oh, look at that. Brute is like a champagne, right? That's what usually it's the style. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. You have to dry champagne. Oh, that's nice. It's I know Brute beer. alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Pinky out. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Out. Bottoms up. Yeah, with wine, you can go full pinky out. Yeah, you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, that's dry, all right. Yeah. It's gone right away, huh? Just like bang, mm. biscuit. This is going down really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Where that is worth sampling. Not wine's not my thing though, but I intentionally got the 
mm. uh, the uh, with the bubbles, just because I thought it might remind me a little bit more beer. Mm. Now, I'm, just not, I'm not a wine person. How does it compare to that fine malt liquor that you've been drinking here? I'm actually looking forward to the malt liquor. <laughs> <laughs> how does it compare to Tatra? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'll take this over, Tatra. <laughs> there we go. The Tatra <laughs> test. Okay. So I, I've, I've also got, well, I've got four different wines here. I'll, I'll start with this one. Sound like a real wino. Yeah. yeah a real wino, exactly. <laughs> so this, this is a, it says California grown free seeker Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Oh, well, that's, that should be good. Yeah. You'll probably <laughs> like that. I bet. Pinot Noir. It said notes of dark berry, oak, and spice box. Yep. Is Loretta in this can? Yeah, Loretta's in there. Wow. You got a mullet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Says I have a mullet. She was, and, and this one is a, a, a 375 can and 13.5 percent. Oh Jesus, Joe! There you go, Nike. Yeah, and I just for, for those that are in the know, if you follow me on Untapped, I just had a seventeen percent beer, and a I, don't know, I had a bunch of big ones. Yeah, that one's eight and a half. I had one. I had the same one. You had most hops. Good stuff. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. So here we go. See if we get some smoke. Ah, no. <laughs> no, no smoke. But I do have my new Belgium glass, which okay. is that's a nice glass. Very nice. nice, whiny. Oh, look at that color, baby! Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Hey, Joe, I can already feel the blood flowing. I can already feel the warmth in my blood. Honestly, can, can you really? Yeah. Okay, so so I assume be, wine being what it is, and all like pinky out and everything. I know wine needs a selfie. I already know it. So I'm just gonna get the selfie over with. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I want to see if I get notes of dark berry, oak, and, and spice box, whatever in the hell a spice box. Spice box. Whoa, big, big, big berry right on the front. Yeah. Mm. Oh, pinky out. And what kind of berries? Like a raspberry or like a like a like a grape? Like a no, 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 not a grape. No. Um, but yeah, more like a raspberry. Raspberry. Mm. Okay. More like a a, a a bitter berry is that would that mm. be like a dark cherry maybe it might be interesting but yeah more more like a raspberry yeah I, I, you mm. said raspberry and that kind of um i so man i don't know how to do this with with wines you know what i'm saying um hey we didn't know how to do it with beer when we started right yeah because uh, i'm trying to find the oak in the pal in my in and in, in i can't mm. I don't know what the smells are like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and as far as the spice, I I guess. I, yeah, there is because you, your nose tingles a little bit with mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, that the spice would do that, right? Not necessarily like a like a jalapeno spicy type note, but a spiciness like like pumpkin, but not not pumpkin, but that type, is it, right? Is it like a cracked pepper? Ah. Ooh. Yeah, maybe like a maybe like a pepper. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. Like yeah. A, yeah. Okay, here we go. Can I just like <laughs> do I do a Joe D chug? I mean, no, don't don't do that. I mean, I mean, oh, do the hell well, you want. Well, you down. <sighs> I mean, how do you do this? I, I you know what I'm saying? I know. Oh wait a minute! You gotta like wish it around and spit it back out, don't you? This thing's yeah. that's, what, Man, I, that's what they do with it. The, um, when they go to like the big festival, whatever it is, but when they, when they taste a bunch of wines, yeah. they spit them out after a certain point in time because they don't want to get so drunk. Yeah. Like, uh, you, uh, I'll never forget. Me, me. So take take yeah. a small sip and then just like let it sit in your mouth a little bit before you swallow. You'll probably get some of the flavors and stuff. Yeah, there you go. There, there you, you go. go. Aerate it. Yeah, like look like a fish. Swirl it around. Give you, give you a best fish face. Gargle with it a little bit. <laughs> There you go. Oh, you <laughs> are. Wow. Uh, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay not to like it. Hey, you know, you should take that wine and marinate some steak. Yeah. You be you being serious, Joe. Oh. 
It was better than when I chugged it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is not my jam. <laughs> That's a strong line. That's a strong That's line. A, it's a 13, oh. 13 and a half percent. It's no, Boy, no this joke. is rare that you actually see you, Joe, oh. reacting this bad to any beverage. Yeah, that is. This is bad. rare. Oh. <laughs> what does it taste like? Does it taste like it smells to you? You get, you get some of the berry and. It, I, mean, I can't. I couldn't tell. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I think the pepper on the taste was so s s dominant mm -hmm. that it kind of affected my palate. Yeah. Yeah. That, it, does that sound like something that could happen? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Because I'm a rookie, man. I have. I, you know, you, Bump thinks he's the only. I man, I don't. I honestly don't. I am so far out of my lane right here. Like, if I was you, I'd I'd take the lowest alcohol one that you have and try that one next, oh, because oh. maybe it, the the strength is probably. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Now yeah. I do have I do. Have, <laughs> I barbecue a lot, so I do got I I am a red meat kind of guy, and I so it, I, that will go with yeah that will go if you want a, a wine that will go with a lot of stuff a pinot. Usually will go with almost anything, just because mm -hmm. of the way it, the way. It... Real quick before we get to Billy D, I do have what I have the wine that I've had a lot, and I have had it a lot, and it seems super sweet and stuff. Is this red sangria? So I've mm -hmm. got a red sangria, and this is called the oh, House Wine Cocktail. Um, so this is a uh, half a bottle. It says this is this is the equivalent to half a bottle. Uh, it says on the back. I like the way they kind of educate you a little bit because it gives a little diagram. Do you see that? Mm. Yep. Yeah. It's that's kind of a, a few like, cans equals a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that it, you know that that's helpful, man, because it's from Walla Walla, Washington. Anybody actually been to Walla Walla? I, 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 I have. Walla Walla. I've been to Walla Walla. So this one's nine percent. Uh, there you go. We're looking at a three seventy five can here. And grape wine with natural flavor. So let's see. Let, let me crack this one open. Then we're gonna. That'll be a little, probably a little sweeter. Yeah. Oh, that'll so, definitely. And, and so, this is also a local brewery, uh, the Shop Beer Company. I'm using their. What is this? A tulip, um, which is kind of whiny. You mm -hmm. know. So, oh, look at that color, baby! Woo! Love that. Oh, that is a beautiful. Color. Yeah, you'll probably you should probably get like some uh, citrus flavors and stuff, because sangria a lot of times has uh, they'll chop like oranges and stuff. Yeah. They'll put it in. It's like a punch almost. Yeah, oh, yeah. So a lot of berries, citrus. Oh yeah, sweet right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. Now red sangrias, I've had a bunch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'll that goes great it. with snails. Just so you know, Joe. Oh, Ooh, big snails. bowl of snails. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> I used to do that. I would go, I even had actual snails boiled. Use a toothpick. Oh. Have, have we ever met? <laughs> <laughs> I never had a snail talk with you, man. I, I, no, I, I do not. I couldn't even imagine eating bugs. There's just, it's just not going to happen. No lobster, no nothing. Those are sea bugs. I don't care. Because they can swim doesn't make them any less of a bug. No. But in all fairness, um, I you know, if I'm somewhere and you make lobster, then I'm going to try it. Like if I'm in Rome, if I'm in Boston, mm -hmm. I didn't say that right, did I? Boston. 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 There you go. Thank Boston. You. Thank you. Thank you for the help there. <laughs> if I'm in Boston. Then, then, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I have had lobster plenty of times, and, and it's mm. been just fine. You know what I'm saying? It's the whole like looking at it. The damn thing's got its antennas out there, and you're like, how do, you, how does anybody, oh. you know, once they yank the meat out and they just put the meat on a plate or something, then mm. I can kind of, you know, but. feel bad when you boil them. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to Fort Collins Wine, Fat Tire, Ale. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what, Bum? We should have showed up with barley wine. Right, because we're oh. like, you know what? Oh, there you go. Hello, wine. Man. It's in the name. Duh. Yeah, yeah. We didn't think about that. Yeah, because that that pignon. I like saying it. 
you get your French accent on. You don't get to do that too often. How about a Marley wine next week? Oh, Ooh. perhaps. That's that's an unusual style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we do that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the red sangria is just fine with me. Yeah. Tons of fruit. Um, yeah. I can even make out, of course, grape and, uh, yeah, like B. Mark said, some orange. And does it give a description yeah. on the back here? That's uh, like a, that's something you can bring a full pack to your friend's house, party, anything. Everyone would like it. Yeah, I don't know anybody that doesn't like sangria. Really? So every everybody kind of. I mean, sangria is usually a pretty right. Wouldn't you say, Mark? Everyone kind of. Everyone yeah, kind of likes sangria I mean, a little it's bit. It's not super sweet. It's not really dry. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah. Got, a lot of people like citrus flavors, so you're getting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not. That one's not as offensive as. And it's not as strong. I mean, it's nine percent. I mean, in all fairness, longer. look at the colors here. Watch. Let me do the tap. Yeah. Look, you know, yeah, look, Sangria is a lot darker. Yeah, the colors are pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that pignon noir was uh, pignon. That is definitely not my jam. I'm telling you right now. Um, but interesting, man. Interesting. You know what I'm saying? I I just I do enjoy mm -hmm. trying different things, new things. So I am kind of curious what Billy D thinks about. It you know wines and stuff like that oh uh, yeah it, it, does billy d ever does billy d get his pimp voice on when he's in full pimp mode oh shit <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't need to do that. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, <laughs> dude, you really should be thanking Mark for that assist because that was. He's a certified. He eventually, he eventually heard that voice, that pimp voice, and that's when he realized he was uh, gender fluid at that point. Oh, oh. okay, okay. That's that. Is, yeah. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to take this and put it back here. I'll finish it after the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, got to light the light. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Of course, lamp is lit. Okay. Um, I'm going to open this first and ask, explain later. There we go. You bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Remember I said uh, Colt 45 was uh, uh, no longer part of the challenge. I had had everyone out there that I had access to. Well, we have an unexpected surprise here. This is a quart. Yeah, it looks big. Where did you find it? Nice. Where is it? It looks saying? bigger than the 40. It's like, it's like bigger at the bottom. Uh, I think it's a yeah. yeah. You know what? I think it's a little bit of a stockier bottle. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> this came from the dangerous streets of uh, Grand Rapids, the bar, Michigan. Baby. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand okay. Rapids, Michigan, where they sell thirty twos. <laughs> I also saw Pabst and uh, oh man, I believe it was uh, uh, Keystone Ice. I believe in thirty twos also. But uh, yeah, yeah, and I had sent you a thirty two ounce can. Can. Yeah. Can. But uh, yeah, bottles are thirty-two ounce bottles are uh, are not sold everywhere. So, mm. and I have a King Cobra uh, on the way to me uh, by a friend who's visiting Florida. So that'll be coming up too. So, mm. and I've had a couple of liquor stores that have driven through by the ghetto that I want to go in just to check, but I have not had a chance. Yeah, this actually tastes better than the wine. <laughs> It actually tastes pretty good. I, you know, Colt, Colt 45 and Mickey's honestly aren't, you know, terrible, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Drinkable. Yeah. You know. So, um, well, what a report we have. And let me cough first. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That may happen several more times during the show. <laughs> I am no, waiting no. for that to show up in Moeller's next video. Um, well, if it if it wasn't going to before, it will now. It will now, yeah. 
the way you announced it, it did it instantly. It was yeah. Like, it, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah the whole, you were holding it back, you could tell. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the whole look of him coughing, that's going to be in the video. And then he's just going to add a new cough. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. And he's going to do it on a repeat like that. So it'll just be bum over there. It, that's it's hilarious. I can already see it. Yeah. Man. Uh, boy, when was the last time we had a report that was 100% show hate? Ooh. We got nothing, nothing but show hate, including, believe it or not, from one Jay Vega. Oh, all right. Well, now we're talking. Yeah. I now think it's a show. First time in a year, I think. Yeah. I think, uh, See, they can't stay away forever. We're patient, right, Mark? Here we, we are. Sooner or later, they all come around. Yeah. Sooner or later. <clears throat> but before we uh, get to the hate, we'll just give a quick overview of... Uh, this week's uh, current top beefs. So we got uh, Fear, who's in the chat. Uh, Fear versus Lone Wolf 420. They had a little bit of a spat, and Fear actually apologized to him. Uh, Moeller versus uh, Shady. Steel Worldwide versus Shady. Wow. Steel Worldwide versus 209J Jones. And wow. Steel Worldwide versus uh, Causer. Wow. So <laughs> also, last week, uh, uh, the chairman and Havana did their meetup and it was pretty much what you would expect. Pulled all and, of them, dog. Oh, they actually and, uh, met up. They yeah, they they actually met up met up, made a bunch of videos. Uh I don't think uh most of which we cannot play or we're not going to play. Um and uh they already have another meetup scheduled for October eighth. Wow I'll, <clears throat> I'll give it to the chairman man he's meeting up with some folks huh yeah, and there is there there's uh, people are trying to instigate a Pittsburgh meetup, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. We'll get to that. Did they uh, meet in public, or did they meet like in a certain? Oh no, in public and abusing oh, yeah. people, doing what the chairman does. Just oh, okay. Just, yeah, just uh, uh, just being jerks to people, basically. Mm -hmm. oh, um, oh my goodness. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a few videos where it's just them, but then, of course, once the troll power kicks in, you know, that's when the uh, that's when the abuse starts. So, oh, and I guess because of this, uh, Havana it has now officially replaced Wits on the A team. So, oh, well, yeah. he got a promotion then. Mm -hmm. Did they did they go back to the hotel? <laughs> yeah, did he? Yeah, that's did, he win it? <laughs> did he win his promotion in room sixty nine? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think actually the, the chairman headed back home. I don't know if he headed back home that night. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Yeah. Um. But uh, so this first bit is for Vega from Vega, and just uh, start at the intro, Joe. Okay. So we'll get rid of Martha Stewart here. Sorry, Martha. Fuck G Unit. Yeah. This is J Unit. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what now? What what gumball machine did that come out of? <laughs> Four dollars and nineteen cent. Shady Yayo and Banks Montana twenty nine. Okay. Time to make a malt liquor video. So $4 and 29 cents. I actually paused that at the right time for him, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> $4 and 29 cents. So he actually let us know, Bum, that he won this in the machine with the big claw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in one of those bubbles, right, Tom? And yeah. he got it with the claw and then it dropped. Get the, get the bang on the machine. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> okay, let, let's play his hate. Go fuck yourself, coach. Yeah, coach. No, no, coach is actually. I mean, he couldn't be happier right now. Man. He's busy. He's busy. Yeah, he might be getting. Uh... Yeah, he. He, he might, might be delivering some of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's in Who the knows? middle of the stink right now. He's in the stink.
and that's it. Here's here's more from Vega. Next link. Okay. Next link. And you can go to uh, six ten. So the minute the minute uh, he starts giving coach hate, then then you know it's. it's I can hear you. Yeah, he's been making videos all week, like a video a day. So Vega's back. Yeah. He's no longer one of the four horsemen, but Vega is back. Motherfuck you, Joe D. Oh, all right. I talked to some of your cousins at Jimmy Dean. Nice. Oh, boy. So acknowledgement that he is still in uh, West Tennessee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really were the choir director, weren't you? <laughs> Good God. <laughs> No Jerome foam. Uh, Go fuck yourselves. It it is it is it is kind of cool, hilarious that it's such a small world, isn't it? Like he happens mm. to live where a large part of my family lives, and, and it's, mm. it's not a big town. So it's like, and I have a big family. That side of my family is big, so it, it, you couldn't be in that town without knowing some of my family. It's hilarious. It, it's what a small world, man. It is. It's like it, that part's kind of crazy. That part cracks me up. Okay, so we got some stuff uh, from the chairman at home, and uh, what's that say here from bandwidth going all in his videos? Long story short, he was about two years left. <laughs> off in the videos. Ah, yeah. oh, okay, that explains it. Yeah. Okay. You know, the way the way his videos have been going, he may not make those two years. Two years. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, the chairman, we got some proof here that the chairman watch was really watching the show last week because few things got brought up, but they only got brought up, I would say, briefly. We certainly didn't, uh, you know, uh, uh, talk about them at length. And one of those things was that uh, my, my COVID. So we will get to get to that right here with this link. Go to 1135. And my guess is that get well, bum. It's probably not that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's probably not best wishes. Yeah, it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as normal, we have to judge the scene here. Why is the picture of the eagle laying here? Is that his new, like, board to put stuff on? Or there's got to be some sort of significance. I think that's his new coaster. Yeah, mm -hmm. or no, he's using the money as the coaster. That's that's his uh, nugget tray there. Oh, and I just noticed there's another stack of money. And, yeah. Well, the, he bought more money on Amazon. That's obvious, but mm -hmm. there's another poster. So you've got this poster, framed poster, and there's another framed poster underneath here. Mm -hmm. Um, I I wonder if that's another eagle. Is that another American Eagle? So that part's a mystery. That part is a mystery. Um, has not replaced the, what would you say, Tom? Is that a 32 or 27 inch, would you think? Probably that looks That looks like a firm 32. Yeah, that looks like a 32. So has not had the money to actually replace the screen. I think we looked up those screens, didn't we? Or weren't they like 120 bucks or maybe even under 100 bucks at some point? Um, yeah, TVs get cheaper and cheaper. I, I mean, just spend the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. come on, you know. But uh, pull up. Yeah, pull up, dog. Are these new Mickey's boxes right here? Are these yeah. new? I no, he's, well, he's had those a long time. He's had those a long time. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Maybe move them. We'll play. COVID nineteen. Yeah, speak, speaking of COVID-19, Bum's using it as a fucking crutch in 2022. <laughs> Guy was over like two fucking years ago. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, Bum. Fat piece of shit. Yeah. And that's that's it for that. Oh, that's it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's more coming my way. Um, But there is something else in this video, just something else that we discussed. Now, last week, 
I don't know. You even mentioned on the show, you were not sure if you had ever brought it up in the past before, but you mentioned about being Italian. Yeah. And, you, and once again, it wasn't discussed that length last week, but the chairman caught it. So most of the hate's for me here, but he also, well, oh. more or less addresses you being Italian. And I'll just say, Joe, you've been warned. Oh, okay. Okay. So, right. <laughs> Is he going to get whacked? So, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, fifteen ten. Fifteen ten. This ought to be interesting. They're gonna bring you out of the cornfields. Yeah, this. Ought, this no, he doesn't make any actual Italian references. All right. Ah, uh, trolls! Special shout out to WB. Oh, whoa! Is that is that fifteen ten? Yeah, he 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 like he has a lot of love. For WB nowadays, huh? Mm, I, you know what? You feel some hearts. Playing that, let me double check. He had a lot that. of hearts for WB, didn't he, Tom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, trolls! Special shout out to WB. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at oh, that. Hurricane high gravity bolt liquor. Is that how? Is that how he flirts, Mark? Is that him flirting? I is think that it? Is, yeah. Is that the his pimp voice? Hey, baby. You know. Yeah, pretty, pretty weak, Joe. Pretty, pretty weak. <laughs> you know what? I throw think some, we have throw, throw some hearts. I think we might have the wrong link here, but keep playing it for a little bit. Okay. Well, you said the same video. I seen the other link, so am I? Oh no, 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 no! It's it's the next the next link. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> What a coincidence at the same exact point. Right, yeah, the same yeah. got to another good point. Little little yeah. little bonus footage there. Yeah, yeah. That was definitely bonus. That tells me he's going to be back down in Atlanta sometime soon. Yeah, there's another love connection happening yeah. right there. Okay, so now we're 15. Now 15 10. Oops. Yeah, we'll go 15 08. Wait a minute. Wait, we have a slightly different view right here. Yeah. I don't know that we've had a, the door open. Good eye, Joe. No, a lot of numerous people noticed that. Mm -hmm. So this is a little glimpse into mom's house. Yeah. <sighs> what's wow. beyond that door? Yeah, what's beyond the door? Beyond, beyond the blue door. door. <laughs> and, 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 and Tom, did he steal this flag from a from a school i feel it, look, like it looks like it like american flag that would, that would hang in your class right? <laughs> i think he did right classroom flag. i think this is straight out of the nearest classroom yeah it took, mm. it, took it from a third grade classroom that's right yeah what do third graders do with <laughs> american flags these days yeah, special shout out to that four-eyed fucking geek, fucking boomer, bum. <laughs> yeah, bum. I thought you were talking about me. Oh, I got it. I'm friends with everyone. I'm friends with everyone in the MLDC. You ain't a friend of mine. You ain't a friend of mine, yeah. Did You're did I did I ever yeah, say that? With everyone. Did I even that come close to ever saying that? No, I don't think you I'm ever did. friends with everybody in the MLDC. I've never thought that there would be no reason I would say that. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that's ever come out of your mouth. Oh, um, you're the reporter, fucking boomer, bum, and a boomer. Did you know you were a boomer? Technically, I'm not. Right. I'm. I'm. What? I missed by one year. Yeah. So what's he talking about? You know. Oh, I got it. I'm friends with everyone. I'm friends with everyone in the MLDC. You almost league. messed that up. Ooh. I'm friends with everyone. I'm friends with everyone. I'm friends with Zord. What's you know, a Zord? You know, I'm it, almost, with it almost sounds like he drank a little too much wine. It sounds like he's yeah. whining a little bit. Well, I, his feelings hurt. Yeah, you know, I, I need I need one of those whining. <laughs> oh, I need that sound effect. That's the one I need. <laughs> like a baby crying. <laughs> yeah, like a baby crying or a wambulance. Wah, 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 
one of those yeah, ambulances? Yeah. DMLDC, you ain't a friend of mine. You ain't a friend of mine, guy. Guy. That fucking piece of shit. Yeah, bum. You ain't a friend of mine. Yeah. Pull up in fucking Pittsburgh getting murked. In Whoa. These fucking streets, you fat piece of shit. Whoa. I come to Pittsburgh, you better fucking pull up. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you if you pulled up, wouldn't you be friends? Well, that, that's what I was gonna say. So you, I wanted you guys to just confirm this for me. I'm no friend of his, right. and I'll get murked if I meet him. But I better meet him when yeah. he comes. <laughs> Once the then, last... then if you do, then you'll be his friend. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how it works nowadays? How, yes. Tom, <laughs> have you ever had this kind of threat slash invitation? I have not. So you get so you get disrespected before you meet. Yes. But when you meet, then then you're respected. Is that how it works? Wow. Is that how it works? So confused. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm confused is, also. Is this our glimpse into the malt liquor brain, Mark? Like, is this? I how think so. Yeah. 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 Mm. Bad state of malt liquor brain. And you had best pull up, dog. Man, like, pull that, up, dog. Yeah, I better pull up. I better mean, pull up. yeah. We ain't no friend of mine, but you better pull up. You better oh, pull up. We better give this one play because I'm third. Man wants to shake your hand. You better pull up. Friend, friend of mine. Of mine. Pull, pull up, up in fucking Pittsburgh. And he's fucking crazy, fat piece of shit. What do you say? Get burnt? Get burnt? Pittsburgh. You better fucking pull up. So, you okay, bum? You are required to pull up. And get murked, and you better pull up to get murked, mm -hmm. is what I believe was said. Now, what is murked? Murked means get your ass kicked. Okay. Basically. So. <laughs> get murked. It doesn't <laughs> sound good. <laughs> so, you better pull up to get your ass kicked. Right. And then you can be a friend. Then you can be friends, best buddies. Right. Uh, yeah, it all makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah don't, think I don't, too much, don't think too much about it. it just, <laughs> yeah, don't. Just, yeah, listen yeah, to Mark. Just pull up. Pull up. The rest will take care of itself. Just pull up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, see, Mark has no fear because he's got the big guns. So That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing the howitzers for the pull up. Bum, all you gotta do is bring some malt liquor and he'll forget right, about it. Fuck, boomer. fuck, fuck out of you, asshole. Fuck, wait. F, F out of you? Four eyed right, fucking fuck boomer. Fuck, fuck out of you, asshole. The, the F out of you? When I'm in the it's Pittsburgh, you... it, so did, is he flirting with you at the same time he's gonna F out of you? Like, mm. is that so in some strange way, does he get turned on by this? Is that what happens there? No. Oh. Mm. That's uh did you watch the latest episodes of I Am a Killer? I think on Netflix. One of those guys, no. I believe, would light fires, believe it or not, and then feel this uncontrollable urge to masturbate. He he was an arsonist. He he got off being an arsonist. Yeah, and then and then he would uh, kill people apparently, but is that is that the same kind of mentality? Is that is that what he's saying? Like two oh nine J Jones, the same as drinking malt liquor, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Wait, two oh nine J Jones what? has explained it. He said, uh, "Merked means oral sex." <laughs> oh my god! <goodness. laughs> so not a, maybe you're supposed to pull up. Yeah, pull uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of all new meaning. Pull up has a whole new meaning, and then and then pull out. And then pull out at the proper time. Yeah, you don't want to get him pregnant, right? Yeah, you don't want to get a tumor. tumor. Fuck out of you, asshole. When I'm in Pittsburgh, you fucking pull up. We ain't sharing fucking sandwiches like you and Joe D. Oh, Another fucking half breed. Fuck out of here. Oh, Mother. oh, <laughs> breed. Yeah, so, you half breed. Yeah, half breed. So wait a minute. I thought I was white. 
I'm so once again, he got confused. us confused, Joe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, he thought you were white, but then he found out you were Italian. Oh, <laughs> right. Which is which is not. Yeah, it's not. Know, it's right. Yeah. It's it's sometimes white skin color, but not necessarily Anglo-Saxon white. Yeah. Color. Yeah, so so that, yeah, he's still he's still right technically, still half breed. Yeah. So bum, he's not willing to. You have one part of sandwich in your mouth. He has other part of sandwich in his mouth, and you bite to the middle. He's not willing to do that with you. That's so un. You're muted. You're muted, bum. Oh, he's he said uh, yeah. He's not willing to do that like me and you did, Joe. I mean, yeah. come on. And then you fight like, over the meatball in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Lazing that tramp stuff. Oh, Pittsburgh hoagie. You need a Your Pittsburgh tongue, hoagie sandwich. Tongue battle over it. Yeah, give me that meatball. <laughs> no, that'd be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a nightmare. <laughs> right? Who could get the most marinara off of the meatball? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Uh, is that is that cheese? I hope that's coming off of there. Oh my god! Is that Parmesan? Is that Parmesan? It's Reggie Reggiano. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got a little extra tang to it. I don't know. Oh Jesus! A little extra. Zip. Next video. Yeah, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Good segue. Yeah, good our, segue. Yeah, clean segue. Our next video is 40 ounce fear. And fear is or isn't going to be part of a potential meetup in December with Shady because uh, fear is going to uh, Dallas for a Cowboys game. And uh, uh, fear, fear and uh, has had a off again, on again, hate, hate thing with Shady. Uh, mostly on again, but then he's fear, fear announced this week that he's easing up or last week that he's easing up on everybody. He's easing up and easing in. And we'll get to that oh. too. Uh, Is he's been, getting soft. Is he getting soft? Yeah. He, yeah. He said he's e easing up. He eased up on Wits Blitz. Um, mm -hmm. He's ease, uh, easing up on a lot of people that he has uh, hate for. So um, he is easing up on Shady, obviously, because he's willing to meet up with Shady. Wow. Um, so uh, that is this link, uh, Joe, and start at one minute, 30 seconds. One minute, 30. Okay. I have to immediately punch you in the face. <laughs> I watched a couple of Steel Worldwide videos this morning. I actually had to listen to them again on the way home from work because uh it was hilarious <laughs> he was on a rampage the chairman was on a rampage uh talking about beating the shit out of that fat piece of shit bum from the share beer show in pittsburgh <laughs> you know i don't know is there a pittsburgh meetup happening soon uh, it depends when it is i might be into that whoa um and then uh a lot of talk about uh shady shadows whatever his name is from the chairman. He said that shadows was afraid I was going to punch him in the face. I guess I got to go back and watch Sh shadows most recent videos. Cause I don't remember him saying that, but shadows. I don't want you to worry. I am not coming to Texas to punch you in the face. Now, should we actually meet up, which I hope that we do. And you know, you're a super fucking annoying prick. You could possibly get punched in the face, but that's not what I'm coming there to do. Uh, what I'm coming there to do is go to a Dallas Cowboys game with my sister and some of my Texas friends. Hopefully, uh, you're actually going to show up there and we can make some malt liquor videos and uh, not punch each other in the face. But I mean, if that's, you know, you never know what's going to happen, especially with me, folks. I'm kind of a fucking crazy person. Malt liquor! Is anybody else here in the Yeah. A little bit of an echo. Yeah, we we got an echo again tonight. Huh? Is it um, echo? Let me shut it off. Let me see if it goes. It's the ghost of Malt Liquor Past. Okay, yeah, with, Tom, with Tom muted, we will play. Uh, 
the next video. And uh, this is fear again. And this is fear talking about how he's easing up on various things and various. Uh, he's also easing into various things, too. Oh, wow, OK. So, Remember, Fear said that he was going to jump in on live the live streams. <clears throat> so uh, go to one fifth, or I'm sorry, go to uh, seven oh five. Seven oh five. Is it me echoing? We'll uh, we'll tell you in a second, Tom. Seven oh five, Joe. And, you know, I, I, mentioned, I mentioned something, something about, about popping, popping into, into some live streams. streams. Yeah, there's no echo. I haven't done Come that yet, hard. mainly because every time I go to a live stream, echo. <laughs> what I see is just so, it disgusts, disgusts me so much. much. That's good. See these, these fucking, fucking fat, fat slob, slob, fucking, fucking losers, losers sitting, sitting around, around in fucking, fucking computer, computer chairs, chairs smoking, smoking pot, pot, drinking 24 ounce cans of fucking Michelob Ultra, Ultra, fucking talking like... Their, their fake way of talking to each other like their best buddies Ugh. it just makes me fucking sick and I don't want to be a part of it but I'm still considering popping into some live streams Ugh. That's just, <laughs> what the hell what? What? what what kind of what kind of mark please help me with this how, how, do, how, how, how do we uh, what okay just just help please so he says all the live streams make him sick, but he's oh, still yeah. considering popping into a live stream, but they still make him sick. Joe, I think it's like McDonald's. Like, ah, that food's horrible for me. Give me another one. Give me another well, Big I'll, Mac. I'll yeah. still eat it. I think, yeah. it, I think it might like be one of those. Complaining about Taco Bell while mm. reaching for said Taco yeah. Bell bag from mm. the guy with, in the with window. With a full pack of tacos in it. Yeah. Right. Where's I my don't sauce? want this. I don't want this. <laughs> Can I have extra mild sauce, please? Right? <laughs> like, I don't Pretty want much. this. This is disgusting. No, you know what? Make that hot sauce. I want the hot sauce yeah, today. <laughs> um, right? Like, what What do you do? Yeah, I, I, he's conflicted. He's conflicted. Yeah. Is it? Is it like that person that's like, you know what, man? Don't ever smoke these cigarettes, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can I bum a cigarette? Don't ever yeah. smoke these cigarettes. Hey, Joe. Joe, I had a nurse like that in elementary school. She'd tell us or, not or to more smoke more like, cigarettes. you don't know, because cigarette people don't talk like that. They're like, yeah, don't smoke these cigarettes. Yeah, no, no really like, don't smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> right? What about I, you, I, nurse mom? I had a nurse like that would tell us not to smoke cigarettes. And then you'd be on recess and she'd be outside smokers. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. Like, what right? the hell? Well, most nurses smoke. The <laughs> ultimate thing as a kid that would get you to stop smoking cigarettes is when you got the guy that was like, Yeah, don't smoke cigarettes. Oh my god. And, and he still and he smokes through his uh <laughs> his blow hole. Yeah. Had a bar- I had a barber that did that. He he'd smoke <laughs> through his uh through his uh what whatever they call it. Yeah. Blow blow Joke. hole. The blow hole. <laughs> blow hole. <laughs> that used to freak us out as kids. It's like, oh, his name yeah. was Ferdy. It's like, oh, Ferdy smokes through the hole in his throat. <laughs> Joe, the first time I seen that, it was a bagger at True or a local. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Truchies, Truchies, Truchies. Mm-hmm. But I started laughing because I didn't. I thought he was joking with me. I didn't know. He's like, have a good day. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm a little kid. I don't know. Right. That was funny. I don't. I don't know. You don't know at that age, like eight, right. nine. You don't right. understand. Yeah. If you've never seen it before, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your, your parents never pinched you on the back of the arm, not to not to freaking laugh. Yeah, not to say anything. <laughs> yeah, my mom was kind of pissed, but yeah. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> so, I it, yeah, what do you think about this one, bum? What 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 do we have? I mean, the the you know. It, that must be the malt liquor. Malt liquor must make you have that mentality where you're like, you know what? No. Yeah. Well, fear has been known to occasionally change his mind from time to time on things. Yeah. Yeah. So. So is that the end of this one? No, no. Gotta ease into it. A little bit. I got to ease into it. Oh, my God. A bunch of fucking losers who sit around every Saturday night and talk about the stupidest fucking shit. Yeah. 
Man, who the hell does that? Who would ever do that? I mean, come on, bunch <laughs> of losers that sit around on a every Saturday night. And and how would he know this sort of thing? Is that because he's sitting around every he Saturday? He wishes he was as big a loser as us, I guess. Well, I don't so know if he's necessarily talking about us. He, I mean, no. the computer no. chair no. thing's right. The Saturday night part, right. The fat piece of shit is partially right. But uh, <laughs> no, nobody here's smoking pot. No. That's true. We're That's not true. drinking Michelob. And we're not drinking Michelob, so it may not be us. Yeah, it, it may not be us. It's a little altar at that. I don't think. Yeah, it, 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 it might be the V bar. I, I believe I would truly rather drink malt liquor than drink Michelob Ultra. Yeah, now. me too. And I think he yeah, actually likes us, to be honest with you. Oh, he, he's in love with us, please. Yeah. He, he, that's his way of flirting. Oh, my God. A bunch of fucking losers who sit around every Saturday night and talk about the stupidest fucking shit. That's another issue. I actually usually have shit that I'm doing on Saturday nights, on Friday nights, you know, all weekend long, like doing real life, like fun shit. Not what? just sitting on a fucking computer chair in some fucking bedroom talking to other fucking losers on the fucking internet. What a waste of a fucking life. I, maybe one of these weekends, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm not doing nothing. I'm just going to go and join these fucking losers <laughs> on their fucking stupid fucking live streams and see what this is all about. I know it sucks, but, you know, I'm easing in, folks. Easing in, uh -oh. easing up. Uh -oh. No trouble. Okay, so so who do we think he's really talking about here? Who should we take offense to this? Is this something that should be offensive? Ah, uh, he's definitely talking about somebody different. Yeah, we don't drink Michelob. We don't. <laughs> we talk about random shit, but it's it's. I don't it's, know when the when the V bar. I'm not subscribed to anybody there, so I don't know when the V bar. Uh, operates i believe they do things at random and it could be at any time of any day during the week because uh i think look, a lot of them i mean have all the time in the world look we don't uh, drink piccolo ultra uh, and we've got one buff m effer in here you know He's got, he's like almost at a number. Yeah, Tom, two. thanks. Yeah. <laughs> almost at a number two pencil lid. Num number three pencil lid. Ah, I'm, I'm working towards a number three. Yeah, working towards a number three. Two and so a half. Yeah, obviously not us he's talking about. Yeah, but number two is the most respected, right? Well, it's the most well, common. It's common, it's common yeah. right? The yeah. one percenters of pencil leads are in heading into or on the three percent level. Yeah, he's got most of the market. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know. You, I mean, there's and only two some... is fine, but three. I mean, that's like a pencil neck snob. I mean, and that's really what I want to get to. I want to be the pencil neck snob. Yeah. How many people do you see anymore? You know, those are the thick pencils. The, yeah. The yeah. Big, yeah. The big. Are you talking about the ones? Always working on having a thick lead. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> From top to bottom, baby. Top to bottom. Thick yeah. All the way through, not just yeah. at the base. All the way through, oh, yeah. <laughs> For the full length. Not bragging, just saying. Yeah, <laughs> he's working his on. He's working with him. I'm not going to say. Yeah. Hey, maybe no need to brag when it's true. Maybe there is something to the pignon moi. I don't know. It definitely gets you. I drink. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It's, wow. it's like drinking to, a big beer. You're, you're no, down to the. Down yeah, still well, with that wine, Tom. I might as well take it out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I am yep. down to the swill on my sangria. The pignon wow. wine will be a marinade. Trust me. Um, the rosé was nice because it was it was still kind of sweet. Okay, but still so kind of bitter. I have the rosé bubbles underwood. You might like that. Hmm. It's it's and, sweet and but bitter at the same time. 11% from Oregon. And then I do have, sorry, um, I do have the house wine. Excuse me. Um, this is old fashioned. So this is mixed with lemonade. Ooh. Mm. So it's like yeah, a shandy would... almost. Yeah. Like a shandy. Yeah. I expect that to be kind of, you know. Yeah. That'd be good. So we have another link. Yeah. This is our final link. Uh, we're back to the chairman. 
Oh yeah. And uh, <laughs> now we. No charge. I was able to successfully uh, crack my thirty. Let's see how the chairman did earlier today. Oh, uh, one minute, fifteen seconds. Oh, oh about chucking. Oh, bunch boy, of looks nuggets. like going to see some trouble. Okay, so I I noticed that we had some nugget movement here, right? When whenever he has a little bit of food, I think he has a little more oomph in the step, right? He's got a little more. More calories I, burn. I think the problem is he started eating the nuggets, and I, his excuse may be some of the grease got on his hands and might have. Well, that actually, I never thought of that. <laughs> there could be something on his hands, maybe <laughs> nugget grease, or maybe something else. Uh, but also the bottle sitting there for a while, and I've experienced that where it starts. Uh, Adding condensation sweat. on it and slippery, yeah. and yeah, mm -hmm. it adds mm -hmm. a little sweat. But yeah. one would assume that with the grip, because of past practice, if you will, mm -hmm. the grip that he has would be unfettered, right? It's, like, that, it's that muscle memory, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that, that is one strong grip. If yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you got lots of practice with that grip. Yeah, that yeah. like the G.I. Joe with Kung Fu grip. Everybody yeah, that remember is. that? G.I. Uh, Joe with Kung Fu grip. Yeah. Look it up on YouTube, Tom. G.I. Yeah. Joe with Kung Fu grip. It was a thing. It was a thing 40 years ago. Here we go. I hope to meet that guy again. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh boy. Nothing but trouble. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Oh, Get some paper towels or something, dude. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, I don't know where he was going with that. If he was smart, he'd wipe his hands first and then. <sighs> wow! Did Woodsy out of the crack? Fuck you, bum. Pull up. <laughs> And he wants you. He wants yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be throwing hearts to you in a couple yeah. of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Holy You're shit! Like, oh, bomb. <laughs> as, as as far as a Pittsburgh meetup goes, <laughs> as far as a Pittsburgh meetup goes, I know we have me recorded on here. I think only about three months back, saying, "Yeah, I'd meet up with the chairman." Yeah, and I know Moeller is eventually going to use that piece of video, uh, but since since I said that, that's when the chairman has uh, taken a turn towards the dark side. And uh, oh, is that when you said you were besties? No, no, I no, I've like I said, I've never said that about anybody in the MLDC. But I did say, yeah, I'd meet up with the chairman. I made yeah, a casual that's, that's as far as it's gotten. Yeah, I made a casual reference to it. I didn't realize that a couple months later he was going to be making the type of videos that he is. And uh, yeah, I uh, it's a funny thing about me, it's like a personality quirk. Mm. I don't want to get punched or shot. So, Aww. I mean, that's I mean, that's pretty normal. I think that's not a personality. Yeah. So that is probably going to pre prevent any uh, meet up with the chairman. I would do a, uh, <clears throat> a meet and greet with uh, other MLDC. I have already met uh, Mad Moeller. Um, uh, there, there's others I would not mind meeting. I wouldn't mind meeting Fear. But uh, yeah, just with the current nature of the chairman and his mindset right now, I've I, 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 I don't know. I've done a little amateur case study on him and just tried to figure out why he's up to what he's up to. And uh, mm -hmm. who, who, well, I, I've formed an opinion. I won't give it here. The, uh, you know, <clears throat> it, it would seem like to me that, uh, yeah, the chairman's uh, a little off his rocker right there, huh? A, a sandwich, um, little sandwich short of a picnic there a little oh uh, yeah there there's all kinds of paths we we could go down with this <laughs> uh, 
uh, I, I, I will choose not to now, but, uh, I'll just say the chickens are eventually going to come home to roost. Uh, okay. <laughs> hope, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully he won't drag anybody down down the uh, road with him. You know. Yeah. I think that's what he's trying. Though. <laughs> yeah. You definitely know more because you're you're seeing a lot of it. So. Well, no, actually, I'm not. Wa I'm not watching most of these videos. Oh, okay. I'll watch a little bit and then I turn it off. Uh, the majority of them I have not watched, but I'll read the comments okay. and the comments mm -hmm. like, "Dude, what the f is the matter with you?" Blah blah right. blah. You know. But then he's got his uh, uh, enablers as well, so, which and just encourages him to do more. It, isn't that funny? Like you mm -hmm. can get ten thousand comments that are like, "Dude, you're an idiot. What are you doing?" Yeah. And they'll stick to the two or three. Yeah. That are like. But yeah. that, that's the name of the game with YouTube when people are doing things that are potentially risky. I've even watched competitive eaters, which I'm sorry, no matter how thin you are and no matter how much you train, that's not a healthy thing to do. No. Overstuffing yourself like that. No, and, overstuffing uh, yourself and then regurgitating mass amounts of food is not necessarily the way to go. Yeah, but read the comments. Uh, mm -hmm. What does everybody say in the comments? Great job. Hey, try so and so's challenge next where you eat 50,000 wings. Yeah, that's what it and is. People <clears throat> egging people on to more if risky you, behavior. If you've ever seen the, these little Asian women mm. eating, it, it is insane. You're like, how in the hell? That lady, this one girl, she can't weigh more than 90 pounds. Mm. And, and the gal literally can eat most of her body weight in beef. Have, for Christ. have you seen Have you seen Matt Matt Stoney? He's like an Asian little. He probably weighs like 125 pounds. But what they do is they 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 work out their abs, and they they, they push they work this, their abs so much that they can keep the food down. It's pretty incredible how they do it. <laughs> like they literally work out to eat. It's crazy. Know. And then they eat like a bunch of food, like cabbage and stuff to make the stomach big. It's pretty I'm, crazy. I'm completely good. I'll, as soon as this show ends, I am going to be putting some tri-tips in the smoker. I thought you were uh, going to say you can eat 100 wings. And, and I, <laughs> I'm going to put 150 wings in the smoker and I'm going to eat them in five minutes. It's funny, too, because, <clears throat> you know, I'll put – a uh, 15 pound brisket on, let's say. And, and I'll have so many people telling me, like, what the hell are you going to do with all that food? I'm like, well, we're going to eat it for about three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Food like, prep. It's not like you eat it all that minute. You know what I'm saying? As it, you know, mm. uh, we'll be eating this over the next three weeks, more than likely. You'll be making tacos out of it and all kinds of good mm -hmm. stuff. In any case, what else do we have, Bum? Is that <clears throat> we will we will end the show on a, a humorous note from the chairman. Uh, we already heard him kind of mangle something, and you know how now he he always does his views subscriptions. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, he's attempted. Well, we'll just play it. Four twenty in the same video here. Oh, four twenty! Wow. Yeah. The magical number. Get your lighters out. Subscribers. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and with, with the echo added, it makes me even better. Watch ours. Content creators. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Some would say you're 13 a year, half years late, but. You know what? Even with you muted. Yeah. Even with you muted, Tom, it was still echoing. So who. Yeah. Who yeah, because I'm not hearing it at all. Dick. Yeah, I was hearing it a little bit. In, in, any, <clears throat> in any case, <clears throat> subscriptions. Subscriptions. Exactly. S it, the is, is, maybe that's his pimp voice. That's his pimp yeah. voice. There you go. That's his pimp voice. Subscriptions. There you go. Maybe that's how you make people subscribe, Joe. You tell them, Thank you, smash please. the like button. We appreciate it. Smash that like button. Smash, smash the like button. Yeah, smash the like button. And, 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 and get the merch. 
liquor, different malt liquor number 83 in the books. Oh, wow. books. Baby. Do you have enough to get to 100, Bum? No. Wow. My, actually, my, my goal is 90, and I'm not even <clears throat> physically stocked up enough to make 90, but I think I can. I still have well, a trade uh, coming from uh, from Pat, where he's going to send me one of the Renhouse malt liquors. Uh, oh yeah, James Montana said that he's forty five minutes from me. Uh, I yeah, sure, I would meet James Montana. Anybody but the, the chairman in the, in the current chairman state of mind. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, forty. Yeah, hours. I I have enough to get to eighty eight, I believe, right now, and I. Pretty sure I can make 90. So there's one of our biggest I, fans right here. These guys mm -hmm. will obsess over the guy, but won't meet oh, him man. for hours. Oh, we're, we're throwing them hearts. Yeah. We're throwing them hearts at uh, a chairman. I will meet anyone, even Mrs. Met. <laughs> he did say that. He said he he hopes that Mr. Met uh away off camera does not talk the way he acts on camera which i'm guessing is the case so yeah there's fears in invite to shady and i guess mr some drunk and anybody else in texas okay uh, uh james montana is in fayette county i've lost track of his moves okay yeah he's yeah he's really close to me yeah we could do it I got no problem meeting up with uh, James, fellow lefty. It, oh, fellow lefty. It, you know, mm -hmm. it's cool. It's co Actually, he's using his left hand in that thumbnail. That's pretty ideal. Mm -hmm. um, I still take full responsibility for all these meetups, Mark. What do you say? I think they are following our lead. Once mm -hmm. again, yeah. We, of course, led the meetup. Um obviously we have all met each other at this point but you know, in the early days mark was the one meeting everybody mark was the one meeting up with me with meeting him you met up with bum you met up with uh well tom, i haven't met i haven't met back bum in yet. the day i haven't met bum yet yeah me and tom have not met we gotta meet up at some point that'd be cool well, oh yeah i would love to i would oh, love yeah. to have multiple of meet up quite like malt liquor has i mean they've met up you like to have a group meet up a group yeah meet up. yeah if that could happen that would be awesome um may maybe we can somehow make that happen next year that'd be awesome if, if we could you know you know have three or four of us meet up at the same time that'd be that'd be pretty cool we we've done three of us in the past mm. met up in denver um and uh, if we include Paul, then that'd be four. So four that, and Zach yeah. five. Just, and Zach, yeah, Zach five. five. Yeah. No, that, that would be meetup. the biggest meetup we've had, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was a cool time. Oh, yeah. wait a minute! Look at this. We breaking news. We have. He says, "I'm a right-hander, played shortstop, and and second base guy, Orioles oh. fan." Okay, well, a Malt Mustang reported to me that uh, most of his uh, uh, handling of the 40s in his videos and other other stuff in the videos was all with his left hand. Because I mean, he just want to damage his right hand. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, more now, important stuff. Now that you say that, I drink. I I kind of drink with my left hand. Yeah. No, I drink with my right hand. I'm left handed. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I've right? been with my right hand. Left lefties, though, typically I think go both ways more than righties. Yeah, Just I think yeah, they, were they were forced to because of the way <laughs> oh, the world yeah. discriminates against us <clears throat> left-handers. That's yep. right. It's full of discrimination. Yep. Yeah. So you're going opposite. So he might. He's a right-hander going lefty. Right. Same man. Right-hander going lefty. That's right. That's it's right. like you catch with your left and you, uh, you throw with your right. Yes. <laughs> Fun fact, Mark inspired me to read. Oh, to well, there you go. So, so bandwidth, are you running without shoes like they did back in the, like they did in the book? You should. I, I don't. You should. But you you should. should. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how you said, you should. You should. 
drinks the Trulies in his left hand. Yeah, everybody's been getting on James Montana lately because he hasn't been drinking malt liquor in his videos. He's been drinking everything oh. but. Oh, okay. So what does he drink usually? Uh, well, nowadays, Trulies? And some seltzers and some All right. regular beer, bad beers. Okay, so we'll no decide crap. right now. Next week is barley wines. Okay, we that's do. A big, it's a, that's a big one, but yes, I've got, I've got, I've got some ones from uh, previous years. I can roll one out for that next week. Gee, what but, brewery yeah. would that be from, Mark? I don't know. <laughs> same, same, same as the ones I have. Yeah, probably. I've got. I'm I looking. At, I'm looking at a few right now that uh, need to get consumed. I don't have any, but I can try to find some. That makes sense. Oh. Now, I wish I would have known that we were uh, going to do this a year ago. I wouldn't have. Uh, Drunk that chocolate chip barley wine that I had. Oh, I remember. Ooh. Yeah, and it was good. Sounds good. Oh, there's some f. There's some love going on here. Yeah, some flirting. F you, f you, f you. <laughs> I'll be in Finger Lakes in two weeks. Wow. I, I used to be <laughs> station in the Finger Lakes. Uh, yep. I was I was in the military in the Finger Lakes uh, for quite a while. That's where my daughter comes from. <laughs> <laughs> so some oats in the Finger Lakes, there, buddy. <laughs> I sank my submarine in that summer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, kids, we're out of here. I've got to speaking of smoking stuff. I got to smoke some meat here. Uh -huh. Right. Code. Coast, I'll be folks. smoking it for two hours at 225 for all you connoisseurs. 225 in the smoker for almost two hours till it hits about 130. Uh, tri tip and then putting it on the charcoal Weber, you know, uh, kettle and then getting that nice char on yeah. the outside. There. You look like the macho man. Oh, yeah. Using your hands like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get yourself a Slim Jim! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. We'll see y'all, man. All right. Barley wine next week. Barley wine next week. Okay. Peace out, man. See ya. See you next week.